to prepare and launch the business activity statements, um, from your dashboard, go to My Business and select by clicking on the business entity that you want to launch for. This will now take you to the business profile. And from here, you can go to Forms and select Activity Statements. You now need to enter the reporting period of the uh, of the the BAS that you want to prepare for. You can put in the exact date uh, report range. So if it's the quarter uh, the quarter one of the two thousand and six, then it will be first of January two thousand and six to thirty first of March. But if you want to put a date range, Gov report will then synchronize with the ATO and and uh, list out all the activity statements that has been issued by the ATO during that period. So in this case, we're going to do the first of the first to thirtieth of September two thousand and six. Gov reports will then list out all the activity statements that has been issued by the ATO for this uh, this business entity, including the lodge. If it has been, you can see here the status is new, which means that none of these business activity statements has been submitted before. If it has been submitted, it the status will be processed, and you would have the options to do a revisions. In this case, we are not. We are going to select the installment activity statements for this period, and we're going to do it manually. If you have files from other software, you can upload the file or export the file directly from the from the cloud-based software. But if not, um, just input the file or you can do it manually as we are going to do it right now. So on the first page, you will see the report details, which include the business name, the ABN, and of course the document ID for this particular uh, uh, business entities, and of course the reporting period. If there's any inf information here that you believe that they are not correct, you will need to contact the ATO and make the changes accordingly, advise the changes. If not, we can go straight into the forms. You can enter manually enter the details. I'm assuming that, uh, like I said, you can enter the details as you wish. Because we put FBT zero, so there's no zero here, and of course all the information. If you believe this is the correct information, you can now click next. Uh, uh, sorry, if you need to do the decorations, and click next, you will then arrive the lodge, the save and lodge sections. Because for this, every business entity is different and their reporting requirements from the ATO, what the ATO has on records, will be different. So in, for this particular in, uh, uh, business, there, there is not much information, so sales or data has been recorded by the ATO, so the information is pretty straightforward. If, um, if it's for your business and it has basically uh, information, PAYG uh, details and withholding details, then it will, um, it will populate, with the, uh, populate as uh, you click through the info, uh, or go through the form. If you're happy with everything, you uh, can lodge, but otherwise, if you believe that you haven't got all the information together, you can save as a draft, and that will just save the data, uh, but will not validate with the ATO. You can do pre-lodge, which will validate with the ATO, but will not save the data. Or you can do both, where you can click Save Validate, and that will save the data, as well validating with the ATO. And if you're not the authorized person to sign off on these activity statements, and you want to save and and validate and send for signature um, through GovReport Digital Signature, uh, you can do so. Note that GovReport Digital Signature is optional and additional um, to, to your subscriptions. We're going to be happy with everything. We're going to submit. Once it has been submitted successfully to the ATO, you will get the lodgement receipt um, dating uh, the time that it has been sent to the ATO and, um, and of course, other government agency.